our story starts. Well, let me, I can go ahead and do this. I'll do this so you all can maybe read along if you want to. I don't care. Your story starts in Boston. Supplies are low, conditions are bad, tensions are goddamn high. The summer smallpox outbreak has given way to winter. Uh, Boston's bracing for more problems. Uh, and the British are deeply entrenched. Although most of the rebels have fled, the Redcoats are not above handing out brutal summary justice to anyone they suspect of having rebel leanings or to anyone else who just happens to cross them. Uh, although you are surrounded by terrified town folks and brutal Redcoats, your sympathies do lie with the rebels who have gathered from all over the 13 colonies in response to the actions at Lexington and Concord. You have quickly learned to keep these views to yourself and to present a smiling face to the Redcoats and the Loyalist spies. Rebel sympathizer by the name of Henry Jones has a need of assistance and is willing to pay very well. The news is short on particulars, but you're 100% assured that Jones is a good patriot and that this is not another of the innumerable traps set by loyalist agents. Tonight, you find yourselves at a tavern by the name of the Sign of the Maiden. In the, uh, you know, uh, communication that you received from uh, Henry Jones, you were told to ask for Philip the Short. Uh, you will all now see a new scene up along the top by the name of Sign of the Maiden. You can click there if you want to. It's just a picture to set the mood. But you find That's yourself... That's a fancy bar. Yeah, so fancy. Uh, you find yourself in the Sign of the Maiden. Uh, it's kind of a large, ramshackled place. Uh, it's the favorite haunt of sailors and dock workers. Uh, and it's also known as a rallying point for the Sons of Liberty, largely because of its proximity to Hancock's Wharf. Uh, it has been raided by Redcoat patrols more than once, and patrols pass by the tavern at least once an hour. Um, the show of force hasn't intimidated any of the patrons of the Maiden, um, as authorities had hoped it would, but it has made them very cautious and suspicious of newcomers. Um, so you find yourself entering this tavern. What the hell are you giggling at so damn hard about, Jen? I don't know. It's kind of inappropriate. <laughs> God, are you kidding me? I've, Everybody who's watching the stream knows exactly what I'm laughing about. <laughs> I have no idea. It's really weird. Everyone who, who watched the stream knows, and I, I think Jeff knows a little bit too. Jeff knows, Jeff saw a little bit, but. Huh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So yeah, you're at this uh, bar. We're at the bar. Yeah. It's crowded. It's dark. Smell of sweats in the air. Uh, low, you know, <clears throat> din of chatter going on. You can smell the, uh, you know, the, the salt from the sea nearby. Uh, cooking fish in the kitchen. Uh, but yeah, as soon as you kind of all enter six newcomers to this bar, that it kind of quiets down a little bit. You can definitely feel that all eyes are on you. I stare back at each and every one of them. Take time, just like three seconds per person, just stare them down. Yeah. Uh, you know, your, your, your task uh, is to help out Henry Jones. And your contact here is someone by the name of Philip the Short, and that's who you've been told to go, to go find here at this tavern. So I'll let you all take it from here. Assume we don't know one another, right? We're just all coming in at the bar at the same time. Uh, we'll say maybe you were told to rendezvous on the road. Uh, yeah. You uh, had a short introduction, and actually, that's a great point there, Bert. Is the fact that right now. You all don't even know each other's names. Oh, we don't. Hmm. So uh, you met on the road. You were given some rendezvous point by Henry Jones. Says, meet the people here. Head to the sign of the maiden. 
and then ask for Philip the Short. Chuck, I miss I missed the part in our character creation where we were supposed to fill in rendezvous points. Yeah, yeah. How many of those do I start uh, with? Seventy-two. Uh, okay. All in reverse alphabetical order. Oh no, I can't. I can't read Chuck. <laughs> That's why this character sheet's so messed up. So why don't we do that real quick? Let's go through and find out who you're playing, who your character is. Uh, Bert, who do you got? What's their name? Sure, he goes by uh, Rotag. Uh, he is now Gonquin, very young man. <clears throat> average build or average height, stocky build. He dresses very shabbily. He has fiery dark eyes and very long hair. And no one gets to see the ominous birthmark. It's on his buttocks. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I like the placing. The placing's really good, Bert. Hey there. It's, it's in the symbol of Jim. a bunny. It's very ominous. Ooh, okay, super <laughs> ominous. Uh, Friended. I am Roxanne Dubois, and I'm a bod, which means I ran a brothel for some time. Clearly don't anymore because I'm on the road doing skullduggery. But I did. And during that time, despite having an average, normal, small build with the tiniest brown eyes that any human has ever countenanced to put in a face, I dress very fashionably, and I have very long, wavy hair, which offsets an unfortunate cleft lip. Okay. That's me. There you go. Uh, Jeff. I, I am Jean Depardieu is uh, my name. I am a very elderly Frenchman. I am I'm not going to, I'm going to work on this accent a bit. It's not often I am forced to speak in the French countenance. I am, um, I am of a tall stature and uh, I'm quite lean. I dress fashionably and I have very soft, like baby's bottom green eyes. <laughs> And I have long curly hair and and even longer gangly arms through which I am capable of doing many magic tricks, making things appear and disappear at will. There you go. Hey, Adam. Hey, Jen. Welcome to the place. Hey. Uh, moving us in. back to, uh, you know, I guess not back, to the, the bottom row, the, uh, the Jen here in this game. Jen, why don't you tell us who you're playing? Uh, okay. So I'm playing uh, mm, Margot. Mm, I'm gonna play Margot Rue, Ooh, and Roo. she is a young French road agent. So she shoots, asks questions, never. Wait, no, that's a little. That's a little Russian. Um, uh... <laughs> Are you rushing this accent along? Oh my well, God. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. You're going to be well, breaking yeah. the furniture this game? It's the Russian one. And then... Uh, Tell us about your love of Petit potatoes. Garçon, uh, Jen, Margot on, please. Margot. Margot is only allowed to... You only find Margots in certain regions of France. And uh, this one is the Boston region of France, which is also located in Houston. Um, she is a slight stature, lean build, shabbily dressed with mournful eyes, likely because of her shabby dressing. It's very, very unfortunate. Uh, shaved head with a little, little wavy hair and, uh, red cheeks. Okay. And she is impatient. There you go. That's it. Josh, who are you playing? Well, uh... Mr. Chuck, sir, I uh, do believe I'm playing the, the healing man known as Ford Lincoln Mercury. <laughs> he is a, he's a mature gentleman. He's multicultural, which is why he speaks English, but also other things that aren't also English. He's tall with a normal stat build. He dresses kind of shabby, you know, he got them cloaks and robes and all types of things thrown about with innocent blue eyes, very long hair, and perfect posture. I do declare. Beautiful. Absolutely. All right. Melissa. Question, are we yeah. all assumed to, to speak a language in common? I think everyone I don't... speaks English. I thought I the rules that said no yeah. in the in the play no, test. No, no, in the no, play no, test. No. Yeah, yeah in got, the play test. You sh like you should have when you got your background, you should have gotten like which languages you speak when you hit the background yeah. page. Yeah, so yeah, there's so there's not necessarily any language in common then. No, the correct. No. Yeah, correct. <laughs> I doubt anyone speaks by languages. So. Oh man. 
<laughs> this is going to make um, things interesting. Bert, you know what, though? You and I have always connected on the international language of love. Jeff is in the room. Do you realize that? I was about to say. Jeff, I am very upset right now. You've never seen me upset like this. I've never seen you French either, and How frankly, I, I don't care for it, Jeff. I've moved on. Oh, no. oh my, my God. My feelings are very, very hurt right now. French is the language of love, and you shall not be feeling any of it to the rest of this evening. Not for okay, I have Bert now. I don't need you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wow. All right, Melissa, save us from this awkward moment. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. <laughs> so my name is Sari Bailey. Um, I am an adult black musician. Um, I am tall stature with a normal build. I dress modestly. I have dark, soulful eyes, medium braided hair, and just to throw something odd in there, bloodstained clothes. Oh, Okay. Hey, yes. uh, everyone gets English. I'm on the All background right. page. Everyone has English. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I refuse. <laughs> I do not speak that. Sacre bleu. I will not take that <laughs> dirty Sacre language. Bleu. What do you think I am, a simple fur trapper? Oh. 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 Do you have oh. any Nutella? We're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any Nutella? Uh. I would like a croissant. <laughs> all right. So, uh, has Nutella. yeah, you all find yourself in the sign of the Maiden Tavern. Uh, you've all an unlo unlikely group of compatriots now. Uh, you've uh, known each other for maybe, you know, two or three miles worth of walking. And, uh, yeah, you're in this tavern. You've been directed to find Philip the Short. We've literally walked miles in each other's shoes. Here, I think this one's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's going to take a long time to find Philip the Short? I'm guessing the name is is one of those, you know, we should be looking for a tall guy, maybe. I look for oh. the tallest man in the room. Uh, yeah. Or a tiny goat. You do not find a tiny goat. Oh. Well, it's roasting on the spit. Yeah, yeah. Must yeah. be hiding, <gasps> clearly. Not Black Philip. Oh no, they've killed Philippe. Mm. Belly up uh, to the bar and ask for this short man. Sure, you stroll up, you ask your question. Uh, the barkeep looks you up and down. Philip the shore, huh? I stare intently at the person's eyes, and I pull out a coin and say one beverage uh he gives you a nice ale and points you he's like wait in that uh wait in that back room over there I stare at him as i drink it it's acceptable i suppose that'll fix what ails you <laughs> but we do need to find our contact I well okay. they told me to wait back there oh good new information let's do that then Okay, do y'all follow along? Oh, we, we. Absolutely, my man. I do. Take it easy, big breezy. There you go. So, uh, you all shamble into it. It's a, a small little, uh, I don't know, private room. It's got a table and a handful of chairs in there. Um... He, uh, the barkeep comes in a few minutes later and brings in a platter, uh, with some beers on it and gives each of you a, a drink. Heads back out. You sit there with your beers for maybe 10 minutes or so. And then a, um, a, a young woman joins you. Um, she's dressed very you know business like very proper prim uh and she uh let me show you a picture of what she looks like she comes in and she pulls up a chair and she sits down and greetings i am philippa uh what's her last name uh, pullman oh. uh you have been asking to speak with me we have. You have um, 
come on the recommendation of Mr. Henry Jones, which always carries great weight around here. I am acting on behalf of my brother, Morris Pullman, who's currently in Philadelphia assisting our friend, Mr. John Hancock. I have taken liberties of making inquiries as to your character. And like I said, uh, Mr. Jones has spoken highly of you. Um, I hope you do not uh, take offense to my inquiry into your character, but I need to know that there are people here that I can trust. So if you are interested, I have a job that I would like you to assist me with. Oh shit, go you friend and dropping them subs. So, are there any questions before I get into the details? I do have Sounds questions. Stocked. No, very well. <laughs> So, my brother, his daughter, Mary, uh, she is the apple of my eye. She is quite dear to my heart. Um, Mary feels that she is under threat. She feels that she will be kidnapped, arrested, taken, dealt harm um, by those seeking leverage against my brother. Um, my job for you is to escort her from her home in Beacon Hill here in town down to Bull's Wharf, where her brother, my nephew, Adam, will be waiting with a boat. I will pay you for your time. I'm willing to give you five silver now, and my nephew will pay you another five when you deliver Mary to him. Is Mary amenable to this, or is she quite contrary? Uh, she is... She is aware of her situation, and she's aware that I'm actively working to find safe passage for her out of town. Madame, she'll, she'll cooperate. Yes. Uh, Madame, you said uh, that there are those seeking leverage against your... Uh, your... Is it Brother Maurice? Yes. Is there yes. any threats in particular that you can point us to? Uh, Certain individuals, it people is, that we might be uh, on the lookout for? It is the Redcoats. Um, I will tell you that. Ah, I see. Um, I cannot provide you more details at this moment because I have not read the entirety of the adventure yet. Uh, <laughs> What an oddly specific thing to say. <laughs> Madame, I appreciate your transparency and honesty. I, uh, I, I I trust you even more now than even moments before. In this moment, I've decided my character takes everything literally, and I'm going to say she's quite opaque. I don't understand what you mean. There you go. Mm. Um, to know that... For Mary to know that uh, you are there to help her uh, and she slides two letters two sealed letters out across the table uh, she says the one is addressed to Mary please deliver this to her and she also uh, provides you the address of where you can find Mary on Bullman's Hill or Beacon Hill I'm sorry um, and then she gives you another envelope give this to my nephew Adam when you arrive at Bull's Wharf and uh, that way he'll know that you are the agents that I have sent, and he will provide you the coin once Mary is safely aboard his ship. Um, time is of the essence, so let's see, actually, the, um, the ship will arrive tomorrow at sundown. So have her there at that time. Is this a metamol? 
Chuck, is there a way to tell if someone's lying to you uh, or holding something back? Sure thing there is. Uh, if you look at your skills, mm -hmm. it should be under... Let's see, that will be insight, which is hiding. Where's insight hiding? Uh, scrutinize? Scrutinize. Haha, <laughs> I was thinking for Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, do scrutinize under perception. Okay, no. and so how do you roll things? Uh, so the it, this is a D100 percentile. So the way you'll do it uh, is if you look on the initiative sheet, I kind of have it listed out there. I'm going to call this standard difficulty, so it'll be no change on the difficulty. So you'll take your primary attribute. Uh, if you have a skill rank, you get a plus 10% for it uh, and your peril threshold. You haven't taken any peril left, so it'll just be your primary attribute plus 10% for your skill rank, roll a percentile, and roll at that number or under. Oh, so, yeah, oh yes. Six, you nail it, no problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's being pretty straightforward with you. Uh, she is appearing to, she's really trying to give this, uh, you know, exuding calmness kind of, you know, uh, but you can tell she's, she's scared. She's, uh, she's worried. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Okay. Yeah. It came to mind that this would be an excellent way of getting rid of sympathizers by yeah. asking for help and putting them to yes. So as you're all in this back room, uh, you all of a sudden you hear shouting and a commotion from the main area out front in the tavern. Uh, Philippa uh, goes rigid and she's like she gives you a little shush and she's like I think I think the redcoats have arrived we have to get out of here quickly as you, you hear all sorts of yelling and uh, you know furniture drinks plates crashing to the floor okay and a second uh, way out of the building, perhaps a, a back exit. Yes, there's a back exit. We should all flee here. I'll go my direction. You all go your direction. Uh, you have your task. You will be paid when it is done. And she gets mm -hmm. up and she flees the room. Uh, and she turns to the right as soon as she walks out. And she kind of leans back. She's like, the exit's back this way. Let's go. Um, as you all leave this room and head towards the exit, you can look back and you can see that there's eight red coats in the tavern causing trouble, tossing, uh, you know, tossing things around. Let me do a little, I can even show this, get a little mood setting there. Uh, um, oh man, that one on the end looks super sus. Super <laughs> sus. He's the imposter. Mm -hmm. He's Jeff. Oh my gosh. It's always Jeff. Jeff. Uh, he did it. I think we should uh, eject him into space first. This is yes? definitely Jeff. I am not Jeff. Is this the uh, airlock? No, Jeff. There is Jeff. Is not a French, French name. <laughs> oh. Oh. Any of you want to do anything <laughs> before we? I kind of don't want to. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> don't want to deal with eight red coats. Yeah. So. Yep. So Get the skull out of dodge. As you all move out of the back door, you find yourself in an alley. You look left. You look right. Uh, right leads you down towards the pier, so you can see uh, see the planking and water that direction a little bit. Right uh, takes you further into town. Um, you have a preference. But we need to be catching a boat, right? Yeah. Eventually, you'll be catching a boat. Yeah. We got to pick her up first. Her yeah, we yeah, got to yeah. get her first. So by yeah. town before dock, then I'm thinking. She's okay. up on the hill. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Be gone. I do not retain information well. Go <laughs> no. to the hill. Yeah. So you. Yeah, all I think we need. Turn right. Look okay. unnatural. Uh, and it's once you break out of the alley back onto the main street, uh, you find yourself maybe 10, 15 feet from four redcoats. And they call out, you there, stop! Uh, and you all in your moment of panic run. Oh. That's, I'm, I'm, I Were they even talking to us? That. 
They were yelling and pointing directly at you. No. I hate running. So, this is the part of the adventure where you all get introduced to the chase scene. <gasps> the chase scene. Yay! Da -na -na. Da -da -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> Somebody get on my back! Get a bag of cabbage! Very old man. <laughs> this will not go very Where's well. Where's Sugar <laughs> Daddy when you need him? <laughs> so, this is a short chase scene. So you have three rounds to escape the red coats. There's going to be four red coats chasing you. If you do not escape in those four rounds, the red coats will chase up to you, and you'll have to deal with the outcome. Uh, if you beat the red coats, you escape safely and disappear into the city to continue doing what you're doing. Uh, the way this is going to work, everyone is going to roll 1d10 plus your movement. Uh, and this will be your escape value. Once everyone has that in, you can see I've got this little grid put in here. Just kind of will move your tokens the best you can. Then I'll roll for the red coats. I've only got two red coats tokens because I forgot how to count when I was making this chart. <laughs> uh, so the two of the red coats, they're two red coats are represented by one token. So everyone, go ahead and give me a d10 plus your movement. Uh, that would be on the second sheet. It'll be three plus your agility bonus. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. So, uh, let's see. Who's got that, Matt? Bert, you got a 10. That's nice and easy. Uh, I don't have names on these tokens yet. I believe this one's Frendon, the one with the wavy hair. You got a 15. Uh, let's Did see. get a 15. Jeff, you are the one with the hat. Oui, oui. is a 17. 17. There you go. See you, suckers. Goodbye. <laughs> Au revoir. Jin, you got a 16. Uh, I'm right behind you, you French fuck. Yeah, we have we're French fuck. Uh, very Melissa, fast. You got a oh, we have so fast. <laughs> we have one. Would you say that you're, you run French away. French fly? We we we. So, the... you've had so much practice of running away. We <laughs> run away all the time, all the, the time. We extreme coward. We run fantastically. <laughs> Indeed, so cowardly. Oh, oh. It's just not true historically, but okay. It's that not. At I all. lived to a ripe old age of elderly. <laughs> I am young and spry. Wait, I don't I'm know what average. that. I don't know what that was. I'm crushingly young and spry. average with small so, brown eyes. These two well, for you, coats. it's Boston. These two red coats that are <laughs> chasing is. you. With the rules of a chase scene, if your pursuer ends their round and their score is equal to or less than yours, they can attempt to stop you. Uh, and you can try and resist that. I'm glad you two are having fun. We find fun in... We're having fun, fun on fun. multiple levels. This is yeah, like an I'm awesome blossom of fun. This is like an awesome blossom of fun or something. A blooming onion of fun. Onion. It's a Thank funion. You. It's a blooming funion. There you go. Bert and Melissa, you two scored mm -hmm. the lowest. So these two... Well, these four red coats. Actually, yes, there are four red coats. Bert, Melissa, and let's see, Frendin. And because the red coat got a... God, I have to do math again. That's a 15... Me as well. Uh, so yeah, Frendin and Josh, Melissa, and Bert. These red coats are going to try and take you down. Uh, doing so is going to reduce their score to yours. Uh, so this red coat's going to get dropped down to a nine. Since I've only got one token, it's just going to work like this. This one's going to be a fifteen. Uh, which it's already at good enough. So, Melissa, I'm going to roll a coordination test. All right. If I pass my test, you can try to resist. If you fail, this red coat tackles you, removing you from the chase. So, 
Uh, luckily, I fail. Nice. Bert. Thanks. Same thing. I fail again. Friended. I fail once more. Mm. And finally, Josh, let's see if I get that 45 I want. <laughs> nice. Is nice. Crit success, is it not? Crit success. <laughs> that is, it, it should be. It is. is. How we play it in France. It may oh, not no. be successful I'll, in game, I'll leave but it is very without, successful seeing in Seeing as it's me against you on the first night, I'll leave it as just a regular failure. So, all of you managed to avoid capture the first round. At the end oh. of this round, the one of you with the lowest score, Melissa, I need you to roll me a d6. If it's a six, something bad happens to you. You explode. It's a three. It's a three, so that's, we're fine. All right, round two. Let's go ahead and roll those movement scores again. All right, Bert. What's your, what'd you get? You got a 14. You had a 10 last time. What is that? That's a 24. Friended, what's your new total? You rolled a, what this time? A 14 this time? A, a 14 and a 15 were my two totals. So you're at 29. Uh, Jeff. 31. Go you. I am very fast for a elderly Frenchman. Jen? 28 is where I am. Mm. Yeah, I really don't know. I, I, yeah. Uh, Josh? What don't you know? I'm 31. I'm tied with Jeff. What don't you know? Uh, and Melissa. The front of the pack. 20. 20. We'll show these, show these young mm. bucks what it means to run. So here's a question. What's going to happen if Melissa gets caught? What are the rest of you going to do? I'm going to turn around and fight. Yeah, I'm not letting say, him take shoot, Melissa. Shoot some red coats. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Red coat I'm number one. I'm their asses. Their red coats won't be dead. the only thing yeah. red in the street. It depends who's holding the letters. Hmm. Oh, that's a good Ooh. question. Who is holding the letters? It's split Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Melissa. <laughs> it's Melissa. Just What's the most sick. dramatic answer? Yeah, Melissa. The one who's lagging. The red me. coats. The red coats. <laughs> so, Melissa, two of them beat your score. Okay. All right. Oh, let's roll this. The first one tackles you. You need to resist with a coordination test. Okay. So, let me do this. Yeah. Critical fail. That's what we call a crit fail. Melissa. Yes, Jack. You are tackled and removed from the chase scene. Understood. Uh, the other one runs up to you and starts working on getting their manacles out to arrest you. Uh, now I think, if I'm correct, the rest of you see Melissa. Uh, I'll have your character's name on the overlay for next session, so I'll actually be able to re refer to you all by character. Uh, Melissa, you are dragged out of combat, meaning Sorry that... Sorry, is gone. Or dragged out of the race. So meaning, why don't we go ahead and just move on over to combat? Oh, dear. Oh, I'm doing that wrong. We'll go boop. So if you all want to hop over to the initiative screen... Is there a cheat sheet in this for the uh, the the what yes. they? Yes. Yeah, yeah. The Let new me... stunts, what they call it, I forget. Combat this. and healing. Rough and tumble. Rough and tumble. And Thank then you. actions and combat. I'll show that to everyone. Thank you, Chuck. Everyone should see that now. These are your actions and combat. You get three actions. Descriptions are below. Mm hmm. So let me roll some initiative for these. Red coach, real quick. Did 
this is so disappointing that I'm in manacles because it means that I can't play my instrument for oh. um, words as weapons. That's too bad. Unfortunately. So instead of a proficiency in melee, maybe you currently have one in melees. Hey! <laughs> Oh, shoot him. Shoot him. <laughs> shoot him. Shoot him. <laughs> and I am guessing that I have reverse initiative order turned on. I do. Uh, things might refresh real quick. Did refresh real quick. But now, initiative's in the right order. All right. Uh, who is that? That Melissa. It's actually your turn first. Oh goodness, this is this is bad. Um. Okay. Now that I refreshed, I gotta grab my sheet again. One oh yeah. Second. Sorry. I was not prepared. Okay, so what am I going to do? I am going to... You're lying on the ground with two red coats standing over you. I'll say they have gotten Ugh. their manacles out, but they have not applied them yet, so... Okay, if they haven't yet applied them, then I want to um, maneuver. So you're going to stand up? Um, can I maneuver while on the ground? Um, I don't think so. What's the ruling on that? Jeff, what would be your interpretation of that rule? Uh, I mean, you can crawl away. You could also do get up, which is, you, there is a movement that's part of a get up. Yeah. So like okay. if you get it, yeah. So yeah, you can always, it kind of burns, kills two okay. birds with one stone. Um, and I do have a point in coordination. Sure. If that does the same for You're... one or two versus two AP. Uh, no, I don't see that okay. in the thing anymore. Okay. So yeah, get up. Then I will spend AP. two AP. Oh no, nope, never up. mind. I I correct myself. It does actually say that in the description. Get up, get up for one AP instead if you have a ranking coordination. Oh, there you Sweet. go. All right. Very cool. Oh, and uh, thanks, Adam. You guys get another coin. Mm. Nice. Oui, oui, okay. thank you, Adam. I'd like to spend it on a copy of the Big Book oh. of British Smiles. Oh my, god. <laughs> oh my god, the amount of teeth oh, we're showing yeah. in this stream is really impressive. Oh <laughs> All right, so, Melissa, you stand up for an AP, and that lets you move out of the engagement. So I'm trying reading my quirk. Um, when thrown into any kind of fracas, your instrument makes a very poor but expensive weapon. Anytime you use a simple melee or is the simple ranged or martial ranged, each skill rank counts for plus five. I'm not sure what that. So you can use your weapon. Help me. You can use your instrument as a weapon. Instrument as a uh, weapon. Just your skill ranks only count for half instead of the full. Okay. Not sure that's necessarily going to help me. All right, I am going to just get up and hustle back to my friends. That's what I'm okay. going to do. You I'm get up. Let them. You move yeah. over to your friends. Uh, I'll say everyone is one movement action away from these red coats. Okay. Uh, but red coats number two there pulls out their musketoon and is going to demand you all surrender by using uh, words as weapons. Uh -huh. So they're going to try and intimidate you. Mm -hmm. Who is this fuck? I agree. So they're going to roll intimidate. Ah, uh, that's a fail. So they hold their them. weapon for an AP. They words as weapon you for an AP. Uh, you laugh at them. Uh, so they're going to just fire a shot at the group of you. Fire at me, you fuck. <laughs> we'll see. Are you too scared to? Yes, fire at her. Not oh, at me. Jen, they do fire at you. Oh, well. Stupid red coat fucks. 
Oh no, it looks like you miss. Maybe you shoot your friend instead. I don't actually know if he misses. I'm just guessing. He does miss. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they should train you better. What did I do? I've seen men at my brothel fire better shots than that. Oh. All right, Josh. You're Goodness. Up. Oh my gosh. I don't even. Wait, what the hell? Hold on. I'm not trying to move. Um. Okay. Uh. Shoot. So are we like, are we trying to fight or are we trying to ski daddle, folks? Because. I will take uh, your lead. You do what you do. Mission ah, yes. Of course. You do it with attacking or with fleeing. Well, as long as he just shot and missed. Um. I mean, we got the numeric advantage, so, you know, you know, sometimes you just gotta, sometimes you just gotta let them live, and let life live and let them be. And sometimes you gotta show a motherfucker what's up and hit him with a stick, you know what I mean? There you go. And so uh, I'm just gonna go charging at one of them and try and like, uh, let me see, what would be the exact terminology for the move? Um... And that's 1d6. Yeah, so I will actually... So we have three AP, right? Yep. Yep, yep. correct. All right. So then, yeah. So I will charge up to whichever one is nearest. So that's two. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, and then I will go... Uh, I'm going to take a staff and go and try and uh, do a knockdown. Okay, yeah. So you... Athletics or coordination? Which one would be better? <laughs> I'll let you pull your weapon, swap your weapons out at the start of your turn. You move an AP to move up to them, and then you'll spend an AP to do your takedown. What do you want? 44. Uh, uh... If you... So where are we at? We're on actions and combat. You're doing the rough and tumble knockdown. Make an athletics yeah. or coordination test. Foe must resist coordination or be knocked prone. All right. So that would be... Doo -doo -doo. Let's get it. Ho! Oh! There you go. Nice. So, get your ass down. They are going to resist. They can't resist the Boston takedown. Uh, oh, God. Boston takedown. Just for that, I'm you know what you sound like? I would like to change my attack <laughs> target. I am okay He's with that. You sound like Lilu Dallas from Fifth Element trying to learn how to speak Oh, English. yeah. Multipass. Yeah, yeah. That's the Bruce Willis movie that That's he was Bruce thinking Willis of earlier. Oh, no. Got it. We got oh, there, everybody. Hey. We got there. We got there. Good job, everyone. Let's yeah. go home. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'll see y'all. That's a good session. So, <laughs> you knock it. red coat number one prone. You have nice. one AP left. He gave you credit for moving instead of charging. You were looking at charge initially. Right, job. that's oh, what was that what was going right. on? That's why okay. I was like, yeah, charge but is two AP. I read that. But if you okay. charge and you're not attacking, you're basically losing the benefit of the charge and you're better oh, than yes. you yeah, just yeah. hustling yeah. Okay. Check, give you credit for yeah. that. Okay, that so, so yeah. Okay, if definitely. you hustle if you're not attacking, that's so yeah. Okay. That's you fair. got an AP left. You can make an attack. If you make yeah, an attack, I'll it's smack gonna, him down on the ground. Yeah, we'll adjust the difficulty. We'll make that uh, routine, so you'll get a plus ten percent chance on this. It's him with your stick. Fifty-seven. Ooh, that was close. Let me check. Um. 
and this is your combat so your base here is that would be a 50 would be pass on this so you fail uh, yep so you swing now i'll give it to you i'm showing a network error is the stream still up uh, it is okay. for me yeah okay yeah. it's just my computer wait no no, it is still up. I am looking at it right now. I don't know what we are talking about. The stream's still up. This accident. So you said routine to add ten, right? Yeah. So your combat's forty, and then shouldn't I get an additional ten for simple melee? Are you, you have, have a skill, skill rank, rank in, in simple yeah. melee? Oh, you do. Okay. That's one of my baits for apothecary. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then yeah, it would be sixty to pass. So you okay. pass. That's why I was like, it's close. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Cool, cool. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be since they're prone, you get an extra d6. So roll me two d6 plus your combat bonus. Uh, uh, two d6 or ooh, 14. 14, not bad. Uh, let's see, does that show us the details on that? What are you looking for, Chuck? Uh, I was looking to see if it told us the specific dice to see if he got a one of those as a six. Uh, yeah. And I don't uh, see. It. Uh, uh yes. Uh, no. Never mind. Actually, when you click detail, it literally just. I think you if you that. put next time when you roll damage, you can roll. You can put commas in between if you're rolling multiple d sixes. You can roll d six comma d six comma d six, and I think it gotcha. works separately that yep. way. I think. All right. So yeah, you put fourteen points of hurt on this guy. Uh, let's see. That is going to be what you call a harm assist, my friends. Uh, that is going to drop them. Oh my gosh, I'm doing math here. What the fuck am I even doing with my life doing math on stream? <laughs> I didn't play in a TTRPG to do math. <laughs> tabletop role playing game, not a tabletop arithmetic game. That drops them two ranks. Good. That puts them down to nice. lightly Ooh. wounded. Whoa. Uh, so yeah lightly wounded runs a chance of injury why don't you go ahead and give me a percentile or d6 I'm sorry d6 I'm getting ahead of myself we'll see if they take an injury five five that's no injury all right ah. still two ranks that's not bad uh, red coat number four is awfully mad at you for hurting their friend yeah I feel like yeah I was like, I'm riding high on this hit, and then we're eventually gonna come crashing down. Mm. Uh, they, uh, number six, they don't want to risk shooting their friend, so they're gonna pull out their saber, and they're gonna step up to you, and they're gonna take a swing. Oh, good. Uh, that is a critical success. Uh, so let me... Roll some D6 to see if you take an injury. Oh, no. And then this is a plus. I like how the red coat tokens look like guitar picks. They do. I found that mm. shape. I'm like, yeah, that's I fun. Like that. Yeah, it is. That did weird things. Uh, I'm just going to roll a D6. And roll a D6. Uh, oh, I got a six. All right. So oh, it looks like I don't you, need one of these hands. When you rolled it initially, Chuck, did you roll the, the comma in between? Yeah. Or something like that? Yeah, there was like a result link that you could hit that, that uh, expands it. Oh, oh, it didn't tell me the individual numbers, though. No, I think, it, yeah, it's because the comma was in your place, but that's fine. Uh, so, yeah, that is going to be a uh, what is that? That's 11, 13, 19 points of damage. Good. So, how far does that move you down your damage track? Um, what's your base damage threshold? It's six, so that puts me down at the bottom. Oh. How much was that again? That was. Uh, I'm assuming that's plus it, eat for each six more pastures you go a level down, right? Yep. It's okay, got to go so over one, it, yeah. two, three. Yeah, so six, 12, 18. I am grievously wounded. Oh, that's good. That's exciting. Um, wasn't expecting that. All right. 
It was nice knowing you. (laughs) Okay, no injuries, though. It's fine. It is only a flesh wound. All right. With a saber. Bert, you're up. All right, I will take two action points to aim twice and then throw my hatchet. Absolutely. Go ahead and make that test. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) That is such a failure. There are coins. Do you want to spend a coin to try and roll that again? Uh, Yes. Yes. Let's do that. Okay. Otherwise, it's going to the back of somebody's head. Just kidding. Yeah, I got enough there issues go. where I am. Okay. <laughs> right. So I needed like a 74, got an 18. There you go. Uh, no, I have no idea how much damage a hatchet does. It'll be a D6 plus your combat bonus. All weapons do the same amount of damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they kind of differentiate with properties and a few other things. Yep. So what was that? You rolled a... Oh, man. Uh, you rolled a one? Yeah, must have. Okay. Yep. If you want, you can also spend another coin to turn that <laughs> one into a six. Maybe uh, you'll get to roll another six or another D6. Turn that frown upside down. I think it's worth it because someone's about to die on our side. That's why I'm so, suggesting. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's do that. Yeah, so Let's do that. Points. That turns that seven in, or that eight into a 13. So give me another... D6 roll. Just a D6 on its own. Oh my gosh. (laughs) So, 14 points of damage. Uh, Okay. Uh, That does drop red coat number two. Two ranks, though. Nice. Good. Good, good. Okay. Okay. Brendan, you are up. Yeah, uh, I'd like to, um, let's see, we're all one movement away, you said, right? Yep. Which means it's probably like close range-ish for shooting a a pistol. I'm going to aim twice and fire. Sure thing. And so that would be, uh, in this instance, it would be uh, plus 20 for the two aimings, right? And then plus, okay, all right. Plus, let's see, I do have, okay. All right, I believe that's it. 31, uh, does that roll under? Uh, It does. Okay, that's a success. Go ahead and roll me a D6. Plus my uh, combat modifier, right? That's correct, yeah. Yep. What did you roll? Oh, you rolled a one. Yeah. Uh, Is that black powder? Uh, it is. It is a flintlock, so yeah. So, so that explodes, right? Yep. Yeah, let's look at uh, trapping Uh-oh. as a weapons. Uh, we should be able to look at weapon qualities. Black powder. Yep, it explodes on a face one. Uh, so yeah, that is a five. Go and roll another d6. Okay, doing it. Three. Uh, eight points of damage. Do you want to spend a coin to explode that three into a six? I'm going to, yes. Okay, so that becomes, uh, what is that, 11. 11. So go ahead and uh, roll another d6. 13. 13. All right. So 13 points of damage on... Uh, That is one point short of two ranks. So red coat number three moves down one rank. Close. hmm, Yeah. Uh, Red coat number one, who is on the ground... Uh, is going to spend two AP to stand, uh, and then they are going to spend their next AP pulling their sword out. Uh, So they're standing, they're armed, uh, but they're not able to do anything. So uh, not a bad turn for all of you. Jen, what do you got? Yep. Uh, I'm going to shoot with my musketoon. All right. Into these dummies um which one looks the most injured uh that would be either red coat number one or red coat number two let's go with red coat number one for right. numbers sake um okay so 
Uh, is it just standard, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can do this. All right. I can do this. I can do... Oh, my God. My... There we go. All right. For my attributes, so I'm getting a roll 43 plus 0 plus 10, I think. Sure. Does that sound about right? Peril threshold is nothing? Yeah. Let's go rank 43 plus 10. Yeah. All right. Roll it's my down. combat bonus. So roll wolf percentile and get under 53. Yeah. Get under 53. All right. Nope. Ooh, you want to coin that? How are we feeling, friends? I think, I think we might as well. Uh, like we, you, you've got an over fifty percent chance. I do. Yeah. But you know what happens when I encourage you to shoot guns at things? You've just done it, so now I'm going to. Long, <laughs> That's right. is in the chat, so you're probably going to shoot him. He, oh no! Does he just oh, get no. banned? He was there. I saw him. He just gets banned if he was getting. I'll, I'll do it. Say, I got mod power. I'm going to ban oh, him. So you, you, you ban him if she rolls a crit fail. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a miss. So close. <laughs> so long, buddy. Wow. So long. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, red coat number so three is going oh, to I try. Should've... No, it wouldn't have mattered. I was going to say I should have taken aim twice, oh. but I don't yeah. think it would have mattered. No. You're still not getting up to that. Nope. Uh, nope. So red coat number three uh, returns fire on you, Jen. Uh, takes aim for two. Stick. What that bean is? Uh, sixty-six. Let's see how that does. Is that? I think it's a crit fail. Is it a crit fail? That's, that's my guess. Uh, that's what we're hoping. God. So this adventure was mistitled. 50. Yeah. Um, Beheaded before Boston. Sixty was the number I needed. So he shoots his friend in the face. His gun, his black powder weapon. Let's look at the actions and or weapon qualities for black powder. Uh, if you roll a critical failure, oh, um, oh, it doesn't actually explain it. The gun explodes. Oh, it's like a Looney Tunes cartoon when Bugs Bunny put a cork in the end and just like, yeah, right in his face. Except oh, unlike Looney Tunes, the shrapnel rips part of his face off, mm -hmm. and he starts bleeding. <laughs> and there's from blood spurting everywhere. His, yeah, there's he, blood spurting everywhere. His neck. He's like, ah! he's shouting for his mother. <laughs> no, it's a, it's actually that all be that. Looney Tunes creepy pasta. It, it's it's all that unlike Looney Tunes, except he does turn to the camera and then say, "Don't you believe it?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a misfire table. Let's go look at that. The face full of bloody chowder. <laughs> Space that's, full that of bloody awful. chowder. That, that, that's chowder. just chowder Lukewarm, with Tabasco sauce. Bloody. That's all that is. Oh. Now you've touched upon a universal truth. These aren't these aren't black powder weapons. They're they're black, black chowder, chowder weapons. weapons. Oh no! <laughs> I wasn't oh, no. prepared for this. We are very underprepared. Axe to the face. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was it lukewarm? Oh, it's always warm when we're in Chacha. <laughs> oh, oh, but you discarded me for uh, uh, Gilbert. So, no, I do not think so. Jeffrey Veronica is the scorned lover. I am very scorned, indeed. You're so scorned. I have corns. Fuzzy bird. <laughs> what are scones? I scones. Ah. Uh, that I heard. Let's all go for scones. <laughs> is the is is a scone is scones like a, a British pastry? Yeah, right? it is. It is the one thing they have gotten right in this war. So I rolled a forty. Must spend three AP to fix the weapon's firing mechanism before this weapon can be used again. So it nice the weapon explodes. It inflicts some peril on this guy. Uh, and yeah, pretty much his gun has been removed from combat. So very cool. That's number three. Doesn't have a gun. All right, Jeff, 
it's your turn. All right. So is there uh, one guy of these four that looks like like the the officer, like whoever it was that might have tried to do the, the leadership thing or anything? Or the intimidation, uh, I should say. The red coat number one tried the intimidation. That none of them have the markings of officers. These are just okay. regular soldiers. I am going to, uh, I am going to pull out something out of my coat. I am going to brandish it. Uh, now you'll see empty hands. <laughs> now you'll see a round thing in my hand, because you are used to the soft eyes of Jean de Padou, but you are not used to the very petrified eye of this cat. And I'm going to cast a spell. Oh, uh, all right. I'm going to look deep into the eye of this petrified cat. <clears throat> and I'm going to turn the eyeball into the direction of one of the red coats. And I am going to cast petrified person. Oh. Uh, so um, it's one AP. Uh, but what, it, what, would the, what would you give me for difficulty on this? I'm going standard. This is the first session. Let's not do anything crazy. And because it's the first session, I'm going to go ahead and risk backlash twice. And so. <laughs> well, why I'm not. Because why not? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. You only live once, and I have lived a very long time. So Yeah. I'm gonna... See, the fact that you only live once is very presently my concern right I now. I am trying to help you, my friend. I'm trying to petrify one of the men who's attacking you. I feel as though Jean just said, fuck it. <laughs> and, just... <laughs> uh, and then with. Fine. So I have 30 plus, uh, I'll spend a coin. Yeah. Cause I just missed. Okay. That's good. Okay. So, <clears throat> so they have to resist toughness. Sure. And so I think because I went plus 20 on their money, 93. Yeah. Matter. Yeah. Okay. So while petrified, the person cannot talk or move, cannot be made to bleed, uh, suffer damage by normal means or injuries due to it so he just basically just locks becomes, up locks up yeah can't uh, really do long? anything to him but he can't do anything to us yeah uh it is uh let's see the duration three plus my wb so it should be seven minutes okay so which one did you have a preference on which one you could call it, cast this on or you want me to just roll any, for it? Wh whoever whoever looks like they haven't really taken any damage or anything Red yet whoever is four that's the one. I want that one. That's because we're almost down on the others. I'm going to is... go ahead and just do that. And so then, because I was doing wrist bass glash, um, so I need to roll. I basically I take two conflict because I went up two steps, and then yep. I have to roll two d six because it's basically like channeling. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to roll my d sixes. I'm going to roll them separate, and I'm cool on both. And I got my two conflict, and I'm done. All right. Cool. All right, Melissa. Okay, so after I ran away back to the group last time, uh -huh. um, I'm going to pull out my gun. I need sure. to spend two AP to load, um, which will leave me one AP to Have shoot. Have you fired it yet? No. I'll say it's loaded to start us out. Oh, sweet. Then I will uh, spend two to take aim. Sure. And shoot. You got a preference on which one? One, two, or three? Or you just want me to roll it? Um... You can just roll it. Sure. 41. Yeah, that's a success. Cool. Go ahead and give me some damage on that. All right. So D6. Uh, plus CB. My CB is four. Okay. So six damage. Uh, that's not enough to move them down. Did you want to explode? Damn. Yeah, I'll spin the coin. Okay. So, so your base becomes one. a 10. 14. 14. That moves them down two steps. Oh, uh, right. That was against number one. Uh, so that would move them to... They were on lightly, moderate, grievously wounded. Nice. So uh, if you want to roll three individual D6s, we'll see if we get an injury. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Two. Ooh. And that's all you need. Just gotta get one. All right. So, thank you, Mel. Hopefully, we'll see what it turns out to be. Why don't you go and give me a percentile? Ooh. It's grievous. It's gonna be decent, right? No yeah. I hope so. Forty-three. Forty-three. All their right. spleen falls out of their butt of his hand. <laughs> we both. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. 
They are bleeding. Caretaker must perform surgery. If the surgery fails or if 24 hour passes, uh, they gain the fallen sickness drawback. Uh, so yeah, they get hacked calf. So you just ruin the back of one of their legs. I um, shot him in the Achilles. Uh, he's bleeding. So now Flames of Freedom did actually have, does have standard rounds. Um, mm. So they are going to be bleeding for uh, six rounds. Uh, if he lives that long. If he lives that long. So that is fantastic. Putting in the work. Redcoat number two. Uh, they see one of their friends is just locked up. The other one's got their leg mangled by a shot from all of you. Uh, now this is... That's a raid there from Party Wipe. Oh, hey, Party Wipe. Thanks for that raid. How's it going? That's fantastic. Uh, this is the one that stabbed Josh's character last time. Uh, they are going to okay. brandish their sword at Josh again. And they're going to demand, all of you, surrender now or this one dies. Bitch. <laughs> uh, you all stand there, unblinking, unspeaking. On him for a, roughly one hour. I'm not to, no offense. But... He dies, he dies. Yes, the, okay. the cause will live on. So. For freedom. Wait, uh, wait, are we out of turn order? No, we're still in turn order. So you they could have spoken. Kill... At, at, oh, yeah. I'll let you okay. speak. Because I want to use, I want to use charm instead of intimidate. I have something called Hello Traveler. Yeah. That is like a charm over intimidate, and I can do that to like convince somebody to like stop, and that it's the wrong thing to do. And if they do it, we'll we'll tear their faces off. But I'll do it in a charming way. I'll tell you what, that sounds like that's going to be an action on your turn. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I he's going to stab Josh. Josh, that 52 is a hit. Good night, sweet prince. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, he, you know what? I've got all these coins. I'm going to go ahead no. and turn <laughs> that into a six. Uh, Josh, that is uh, 11 damage. Chuck isn't joshing around. Don't forget, you have determination, my friend. It allows you to avoid the cold embrace of yeah. death. So you, you could can spend the points. Sacrifice a determination point, and that will uh, keep you from dying this turn. Miraculously. The alternative is death, so. Yeah. <laughs> Miraculously, the sword plunges into your chest, and uh, it's deflected from hitting any vital organs by, you know, some item in your pocket and you live to see another round. Come at me, bro. Uh, that one is going to bank its last AP uh, to defend themselves. Josh, it's your turn. Boy, howdy. Um... It's your turn and you turn undead this turn, apparently. Okay. Um, give me one sec. Let me read some real quick. What do you want to know? No, just uh, one of my spells. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to. Well, mm... Which you breathe it smoke inward to Oh, shoot. I don't know that I can do it on myself. So, never mind. What does it say? Uh, divine breath. Basically, it's I'm supposed to breathe onto someone else. So I. What is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's. So I'm going to. Going to call. I may be wrong, but. Uh, so as a result, uh, I'm trying to, so one of them is petrified and then is it two are lightly well, wounded and one's not two. One of them is grievously injured. Ah. The other ones are lightly. Gotcha. 
So uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little smackaroo yeah. on uh, on the grievously injured one. Sure thing. Yeah, just do a regular melee attack for that. So my number is once again just my okay. Fuck me. You gonna spend a coin? How many coins do we have left? Because we a are spending shit a load of coins. You have a shit load okay. of coins. Okay. So then, yeah, give me a coin. All right, go ahead and roll that again. Roll well. I'm trying. There okay. we go. Much better. All right. We're doing d6 plus four, plus four, eight. Okay. Uh, yeah, you'd put eight points of damage on the grievously injured one. Uh, that slays them. Nice. So, red coat number one is dead. All right. And then... And then on one of the lightly injured ones, I'm going to do a targeted attack on the head. Now, you can only make one attack action per turn. Oh, gotcha. You well, can do a rough and tumble. Gotcha. Um, let me hit one of them below the belt. Fuck it. Sure. Fuck that guy. Oh, I'm sorry. It, two <laughs> is it. That guy in particular. <laughs> two is at light. Uh, one is at uh, the first step of injury. I forget what it's called. Unharmed. Light is light is the first step. Moderately is the. That's the what one I meant. That Yeah. One's at light. Yeah. The other's at moderate. Yeah. Okay. So right. rough and tumble. Uh. Hit below the belt. So in that case, hold on. Or be gutted when gutted, you must spin for move action. Okay. So yeah. So I will do that on. I'll do that on the one that's lightly injured, actually. Okay. So that's number three. Yeah. So go ahead and give so me your athletics like or guile numbers. test. Um. Let me see. One more. For, oh yeah, we'll go fellowship. Guile. I should say. All right. Um. Boop. So it says, ho! Oh! There nice. you go. Uh, they are going to resist with their toughness. Uh, this is going to be a 55 for their resist. Oh, and they critically fail. Failed. Nice. Uh, so they lose. They kicked the hell out of his You know hands. what? For that critical movement, uh, when gutted, oh, yeah, or be gutted. When gutted, your foe must spend one additional AP for movement. I'll tell you what, since you critically succeeded, I'm going to say that's two. So if they want to move, it's going to cost them three AP. That was and, uh, a good turn. And then I'll bank the last turn. Sure thing. Bert, what do you got? I am going to fire my little musket thing. <laughs> sure thing. All right, so I'm going to take two AP to aim and then yep. fire. Uh, that'll hit. Okay. Uh, you got a preference on two or three? Uh, is two or three either one of them, one that I hit with the axe before? Uh, I believe it was two. Okay, let's finish that fucker off. All right, go ahead and give me that damage. So what is it again? Uh, D D6 plus your combat bonus. Oh my gosh, I rolled a one again. <laughs> well, ones explode with uh, black powder. Yeah, so yeah. go ahead and give me another D6. So that is 13 points of damage. Uh, that is enough to drop number two down to grievously injured, but not slain. Uh, you can spin a coin if you want to turn that five into a six. How many do we have left? Oh, you have a bunch. Let me. Look. Oh yeah, just go ahead. <laughs> uh, after this, you now have six coins remaining. Uh, this is going to kill him no matter what. Do you want to roll just to see how much damage you do, or you just want me to flag him as dead? Just another d6. Yeah. The five. So, all right, that would have been uh, what was that? That was fourteen uh, plus another five, so nineteen points of damage. All right, okay. Frendon. There is one left in this combat, and they are lightly injured. Okay, I'm going to quick load, uh, so that way I can fire again. Okay. 
Um, <laughs> all right, and uh, let me re-roll that. So, um, yeah, but you load a ranged weapon but can only take advantage of short distances and remain defenseless until the beginning of your next turn. Yeah, I'm using all my actions. I'm aiming twice and firing anyway, so... Absolutely. Negative 29. <laughs> so that means... <laughs> How did you get a negative 29? <laughs> well, so aiming twice should be minus 20 for my roll, right? So you rolled a percentile. And I minus 10 uh, for my uh, Goes up, skill. Plus 20, not minus 20. Oh, plus 20. So, so it's a... Go ahead. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a 49 then is what it is. So, yeah, you're going to roll a percentile. What's your chance to, what's your attribute in that? So I have a uh, 43 okay. in uh, agility, so which is what I use for the range. So that means you need to roll under 73 to oh, hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, but you you're going to do it because you rolled in the teens for that. So, right. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead and give Despite me your damage. Screwing yeah. Up the mod. yeah. 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 All right. So that's a D6 plus my combat, which is four. Nine. D6 plus four, nine. So that you rolled a five. Uh, nine mm -hmm. points of damage on that one. We'll drop them down one rank to moderately injured. Uh, if you want to give a D6, see if they take an injury. How many? Uh, how many coins do we have? Or how many points do we have left to spend? Uh, coins, you have six coins left. Oh, I'm doing it. Let's make it a D6. All right. So, uh, what was that? You rolled a five, so that makes that yeah. a ten. So go ahead and yeah. give me another D6. Oh, Ooh. give another D6. So what is that? That's 18 points 18. of damage, uh, which drops them two to, uh, uh, what is that? Lightly, moderate, seriously injured. So give me two D6 will do oh, oh injury they do take a serious injury let's see i'm Where's... serious about success it's why i enrolled in devry <laughs> oh my gosh let's go down to injuries serious go and give me a percentile all right doing it 14 let's see what a 14 is on serious injuries it says their dick falls off. Bloody hamstring. They're blooding. Robocop? Uh, they have to get their injury treated. Uh, you begin bleeding at the end of your turn if you used okay. a movement action. So, yeah, until they get this fixed, mm -hmm. uh, at the end of their turns, they start bleeding all over again. Oh, nice. So, very cool. I like that Melissa got somebody in the Achilles and I got somebody in a hamstring. We're very concerned with leg health in this that's, party. That's it. <laughs> yes. Jen. If you don't have a leg, you can I'm going to try and shoot again. I'll level you, the guy in the nuts. let you know right now. Uh, you need to put 14 points of damage on this dude to kill him. Okay. No I'm going to try and kill him. No pressure. What? Is he going next or something? Yes. No! <laughs> oh my god. So I think this, you know what this means, is that you must shoot and push push shooting. And I'll, roll. <laughs> I have to roll under a 53. All I have to do is roll under a 53. Did you That's take it. aim? I'm going to take aim twice. So is that I a have 73? to roll under a 73. Go ahead and roll it. Let's see a 99. Oh, thank oh 56. God. Let's see a All 99. Right. Listen to you, Chuck. <laughs> Let's see a 99. What are you doing? Watching lollygagger <laughs> streams? Come on. Jeez. <laughs> All right. No. Give me that so, D6. For 100. It's uh, just a D6. D6. And then after we get that D6, we'll add your combat bonus. Oh, give me another D6. Oh, give <gasps> me another D6. Oh. All right. Wow. Turbo fucked. You, you squint. That also looks like a six. <laughs> you know, you, with my tiny brown eyes, it looks like a six. <laughs> obliterate the last red coat. Yes. You hear other red coats <laughs> storming down a nearby alley towards your direction, drawn by all the gunfire, but you all disappear into the city. 
Uh, and that's where we're ending this session. Uh, we all yell more, more, more. Uh, more, more? Because uh, <laughs> someone in chat said rebel yell. Dan said rebel yell. Oh. Yeah. It all right. is slightly oh. after the midnight hour for me, so there that is go. appropriate. Mm -hmm. there you go. All right. Mm -hmm. So we'll finish up the, the wrap up for this, you know, experience points, whatever else we need to, sure. to do to finish this up. Uh, we'll be back with this game. Tuesday. We'll be playing this every Tuesday till we wrap up Boston Besieged. Uh, so yeah, you don't have to wait too long till you see us again. Um, what else? Let's do some plugs. Let's do some plugs. Uh, Bert. Oh my gosh. Uh, of Steam Stealer Murder, the podcast. We do uh, the Tutorious DMG every other Sunday. Uh, we've got a shadow run using the Cortex system going on now. Uh, and that, that's good. That's good. Okay, there we go. Uh, Frendin. I'm Frendin. You can find me on the internet under Frendin pretty much fucking everywhere. I go. draw stuff for Tabletop, and I stream on Twitch drawing said art. So check it out if you'd like. I'm also part of the Defenders of Kobold. They have a great Discord that you can join to talk Tabletop as well. And we stream all sorts of stuff. So check us out. Stuff. We're around. If you enjoyed us making horses' asses of ourselves here, you'll enjoy us making horses' asses of ourselves anywhere. Everywhere. Uh, Jeff? Uh, yeah, Jeff. Adventures in Lollygagging. Twitch.tv slash the Lollygaggers. We play tabletop role-playing games on the internet. Uh, you can find find us there. Also, the lollygaggers.com and at lollygaggerco on Twitter. You can kind of catch all that there and get all the information you need. So, And we're also hanging out on the DOK Discord as well, so you can come say hello to us over there. Own special little corner little devoted corner. to um, lollygaggers. We're, so. we're crashing on Chuck's couch. There you go. <laughs> it's a great company. Uh, Jen. Um, I'm Jen. I'm a defender of Cobalt. Uh, catch me wherever you find these folks. But um, in the next couple of days, we're going to be releasing our Hallow Zine, which is there the second go. actual zine content that we have for uh, our our defenders of Cobalt slash lollygaggers slash there's tons of contribution mm -hmm. happening in this thing. Um, and uh, right now, if you want to, you can go to Drive Through RPG and check out Dan Dies in the End, which is already live. And the second issue of that is also going to be dropping shortly after uh, we, we drop the Hallowzine. There we go. We Content's rolling in. Great stuff in that Hallowzine. Uh, you can see some of the art for it and friend and stream that he's been doing every day this week. Uh, We've got uh, all sorts of great shit written up for it. So it's a lot of fun. Make sure you check it out once it drops. Uh, Josh. Uh, yeah, as I've said, I'm Josh. Go by Anoriand. You can find me at the socials at GameDadJF. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Anoriand, A-N-O-R-I-A-N-D. Uh, I do a lot of video game streaming when I'm not doing stuff like this. So... Uh, right now, for the end of Spoopy Games Month, we're finishing up Parasite Eve 2, which, and I can say this legally, is a game. Um, and that's the most that I can say about it right now. <laughs> uh, and then we've got some new stuff coming in the next, well, I've got some new stuff coming in the next couple months. So there you go. Uh, Melissa. Yeah, I'm Melissa with Adventures in Lollygagging. Um, play games with all of these different people on different days of the week. Um, come check us out. There you go. Thank you. Thanks, Chuck. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, for Defenders, uh, tomorrow night, twitch.tv slash Defenders of Cobalt. We're wrapping up Cyberpunk Red, the Jumpstart Kit. Uh, if you come hang out with us Friday night, we're running a special DCC Halloween adventure, The House That Crawls, that I have been writing up actively. And Friday night for... or No, I'm sorry. That was... Friday night was that one. Saturday night, Halloween itself. Check us over on Goodman Games Official as we run the sixth level DCC horror adventure, the sinister something or other of the something. I got it right here. The sinister sutures of the sempstress. So yeah, that's what we got going. Uh, until we see you again, please start fires, do drugs, and tip your fucking bartenders. Deuces. Hang on, they can still see us. And we're gone.